While sectional charts have long been the gold standard for VFR flight planning, there are several challenges when working with the traditional paper format. You can eliminate some of these issues by accessing the sectional chart in an Aviation EFB app, like ForeFlight. On this platform, all the sectionals for the entire U.S. are seamlessly stitched together, allowing you to plan a long cross-country flight and view all the information as if it were presented on one large VFR chart for the entire country. Then, when you zoom into an area where attack is available, the app automatically displays that chart instead of the sectional. The VFR flyway charts, which are printed on the back of the TAC chart in paper form, can also be displayed on the moving map by enabling that option from the Map Layer menu. Another challenge when planning with sectional charts is that airspace is depicted on top of all the other aeronautical and ground features, leading to an often cluttered presentation in congested areas. ForeFlight solved this problem by developing a custom, data-driven aeronautical map layer. This dynamic layer is scalable, interactive, and can be customized to show only the details and chart features that matter to you. To get started, turn off the VFR sectional layer and enable the aeronautical layer from the menu. As you pan around the map, you'll see the main focus initially is on airport locations and airspace outlines. Zoom in closer and you'll see additional information appear, including airspace type and altitudes. As mentioned earlier, the aeronautical layer is interactive, allowing you to tap on any element for additional information. Initially, you'll see airspace type, altitudes, and primary frequency, and then tap more details if you'd like more information. Another benefit from using the aeronautical layer is the ability to customize airspace types displayed on the screen. To customize, Launch the Map Settings menu and scroll down to the Aeronautical section and select Airspace. This gives you the option to specify which types of airspace are displayed on the aeronautical layer, along with a few other display options. The Worldwide Altitude, specifically, is a user preference to change how airspace altitudes are depicted. With the setting enabled, Airspace altitudes are shown as tags at the edge of each boundary. With the setting disabled, the top and bottom altitudes are shown in a presentation similar to what you're used to seeing on a sectional chart. Let's revisit the planned flight to show how ForeFlight can assist with the airspace briefing. Enter the departure and destination airports in the flight plan and select a cruise altitude of 7,500 feet. First, Open up the Map Settings menu. Select Airspace. Enable Auto Highlight. This automatically declutters the map by fading out sectors of airspace that are not relevant to your planned route and altitude, and highlights the sections you'll be passing through. You'll immediately see there is a conflict with an MOA southeast of Monterey along the planned direct route, and further investigation reveals that climbing above it is not an option. The airspace highlights near the Los Angeles area reveal a clearance will be required to fly through the Class B at the planned altitude, or require a modification to the route around the east side at a lower altitude to remain clear. ForeFlight provides an alternate profile of the airspace in a profile view to help visualize the vertical impacts of airspace along the route. Tap the Flight Plan button and go to the Profile view. Next, select the airspace layer from the bottom left of the window. You'll now see your route at the planned altitude in a vertical cross-section display making it easy to identify how the height of nearby airspace affects the planned flight. Use your fingers to pan around and pinch to zoom in closely on areas for additional detail. Tap on any of the airspace depictions to view airspace type and altitudes. The Maps view will automatically pan and zoom to show the selected airspace on the map. TFRs are shown here as well 
making the profile view an excellent resource to view before each flight. It's never been easier to review each type of airspace along your route and make changes as necessary with the interactive tools available in today's online and mobile flight planning software.